嗨，大家好，我是罗尼。今天带来的这手牌，我看过很多遍，每次看的时候都是在寻味每一个牌手当时的心理动态，真的是完整的体现了 poker 的魅力，可以说是我最近看到的最有技术含量的一次炸户的对决。这手牌录像机没来得及采集到翻牌前每个玩家的行动，从底池和盲注来看，在翻牌上有四万五的底池，大盲是六千，安替是六千。应该是 cheat week 翻牌前，在 high jack 位置加注到了1万三，然后大小盲都跟注。到了翻牌，所有人现在都过牌。首先说一下翻牌前的行动，受光头 cheat week 在 high jack 位置用 jack 八同花奇瑞斯也是没问题。毕竟现在还是比赛前期，大家每个人的筹码都很深，在前面的人都弃牌的情况下 ，jack 八同花直接弃牌确实有点太紧了。就像我们之前说过很多次的一样，在前面的人都弃牌了的情况下，想入池就自己 race。小盲 tricky 在这里 ace jack 普通花，有70多个大盲，可以三 bet 可以跟住，混合着来都没问题。那么到了 Kenny 在大盲赔率已经很好的情况下，任何两张牌都是可以入池了，何况他的筹码还这么深。翻牌743全部都是没花。tricky 和 Kenny 都是标准的过牌 ，tricky 和 Kenny 如果偶尔的 dunk 出来也是可以接受。但是显然大家还是遵循着翻牌上过牌给翻牌前起 race 的人的 c bet 的默认习惯。这里受光头 cheat week 直接中了同花。但是居然很狡猾的也过牌了。其实他在这里大部分时候还是可以开一枪的。首先自己是翻牌前起 race 的人，并且有位置优势，这种 c bet 正好可以掩饰他的天花的牌力，对手很可能是不会信他的。其次他是 jack 的同花，如果转牌再来一张梅花的话，瞬间他就不知道自己大不大了。如果他手里现在是 ace 或者 king 的同花，在这里过牌慢打比较更合理一点，因为 ace 和 king 就不太怕其他人也中同花了。最后就是每个人筹码都这么深了。中了天花，并且有位置优势，一般还是希望尽快造大底池，可以多赢一点。在这种同一个花色的翻牌上 ，C bet 的大小其实更加微妙。但是这里受光头打算慢打，玩个狡猾的，也过牌了。And the ace of clubs, and he's continuing to check. It's very tricky from the small blind after it checks around on the flop. I see what you did there. Tricky from trick it. Tricky, I, I, tricky. I mean, I'm onto you. I get what you're doing. And this is no, no. It's amazing. The pot's a small going to this juncture. You know, Bryn Kenny got a, has a gut shot with the club, but Chidwick now, you know, has to. Has to feel very comfortable. Obviously, flopping a flush is rare. 118 to one odds. And he checked it back on the flop. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty crazy. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, Interesting way of proceeding, but makes some sense. Also disguises your hand even more, but also pot control. Chidwick's got tricks. He checks again. That's a little wild. 转牌黑头 Jack Tricky 这里顶对顶踢脚，还有 Ace 的听通花，可以说是牌力很强了。在翻牌上没人打的情况下，一般都可以零打出来了。但是他选择继续过牌。Kenny 也是一样，有卡顺，有听通花。在受光头没有在翻牌上 C bet， 转牌上 Tricky 的也没有打的情况下。两个人显示的牌力都已经很弱了。那么 Kenny 在这里没有摊牌价值，但是有足够好的听牌，也完全可以开一枪。但是 Kenny 也选择了过牌，然后到了受光头，他居然又过牌了。如果说在翻牌上他过牌是隐藏一下牌力骗对手，那么转牌上这个过牌就错失了很多的价值。绝大部分时候玩家都会在这里开枪了。他这种把牌力深深的埋藏在了地下，实在是太狡猾了。一方面可能错失了很多价值，但是也说不定有出其不意的效果。也许看到这里，你会说啊，这手牌到底是有什么价值拿出来讨论呢？所有人都过牌两圈了，到底都在干什么？那么精彩的合牌来了。He just thinks that no one has a piece. He's hoping someone catches up. But is he though? Because like catch up still, if a one club rolls off a queen king or ace, either one of two opponents have. I don't know if you're necessarily looking for your opponents to, yeah, I guess catch up with the pair. I mean, he's hoping someone just has like eight nine and just hits like an eight. Yeah, or makes a straight. Yeah, if I, I mean, Kenny could make a straight. Uh, very interesting. So this is checked around the flop. It's checked around the turn. 16. And I like that Tricket is betting now because it's so unlikely someone has a seven. Likely, like Chidwick probably would have bet a seven on the flop. You only got to worry about Kenny having a seven. And if he raises here, okay, probably easy to get away from Ace Jack. Yep. I'm curious by I'm curious. Uh, it'll be interesting what Chidwick does if if he just calls. So Kenny is currently in the tank, and he's wondering why did Tricket bet so small? Wow, he's going to reach for bluffing chips here. What is going on? Wow, it's really I mean, this is a peculiar just hand selection all around. I, I think it's. I understand what Kenny's doing. The reason is, if Tricket had a seven, 
he would bet bigger on the river because he only bet about a third of the pot. So he thinks Trickett is going for a thin value bet with a jack. He doesn't. He's not worried about Chidwick having a seven because his expectation is that Chidwick would bet a seven on the flop. He also doesn't think Chidwick has a flush, although he actually has in this situation, because Kenny thinks that Chidwick would have either bet the flop or the turn if he had a flush. So Chidwick's going to make the call here. I would like to see Trick and get away from the ace jack. I think when you see a cold call for 102k, given how small this pot was, this looks very strong. That definitely beats ace jack. It's interesting because Trickett has a key card here. Although the board's paired, you know, if the board doesn't pair, Trickett could even you could really, you know, it's that much makes it that much more sense for him to like rip it in as a like you just almost have to get the the credit for having it. But like now the board's paired. It's like what is he? With, the, with this re-raise and a call, it's, it's funny. And look at Chidwick, who extracts a lot of value all of a sudden with checking his hand twice. Gets, gets a random bluff in there from Bryn. Hopai 于是他拿顶对打小一点打一个价值希望有人可以拿一个对子可以跟一强同时呢另外两个人其实都是可能有七的有七的人在这个面上不一定会不会 而且他分析的并没错，Tricky在这个面上有一个顶对确实不强，Kenny这时候肯定认为后面的瘦光头过了两条街，牌力很弱，完全不是威胁。那瘦光头如果有七，首先在翻牌前奇瑞斯的机会
，射光头不可能拿着比自己 Jack 小的队在这里跟住，在射光头的范围里 ，Tricky 打不过任何一手牌。You know, he's gonna unless somehow the only way would be if somehow Sam decided to turn his hand into a bluff, rip it in. I don't even know if that would work at this point, but I mean, it would look pretty ridiculous. I, I don't know. The board's paired. Well, you can see the the body language doesn't seem like. Wow! wow. Oh, Samuel Trickett. Like trick this in is an insane hand. Bryn, the, the sick part is Bryn was right that Sam was weak. He he made a ridiculous play. Now Chidwick... Uh, so everyone has kind of like out... Wow. One-upped everyone. Like just kind of like... This is crazy. Sam Trickett, who finished second in the one-drop original one million buy-in to Antonio Esfandiari in 2012 for a $10 million score. Here he is on the big stage in his home country town. Well, home country. I don't know exactly where he's from in, in England, but Sam Trickett... Legendary bluff on the river, and Chidwick, who checked twice, sets up what he wants, and now we got Sam. The re-raise, I think Chidwick's, I don't think he's going to call. Well, so let's think about it from Chidwick's point. He's thinking, wow, did Trickett really check like a set or two pair on the flop yeah. to turn and only bet a third of the pot when the seven paired? I'll tell you what, Chidwick is one of the most intimidating and that, regarded in the game now as maybe the best player, tournament player in, the, in poker, and you know on a paired board as well. If Sam is rep, like I think that's what he's thinking. I have a flush. Is Sam gonna bluff with the dry ace when the board's paired on this action? You know, so from his mind, it just it, it's even he's basically repping a boat, right? Exactly. I mean, he is repping a boat, and but he has the ace of club hand, and this is this is this is high level all around. Really, one of the more interesting hands I've ever seen. Yeah. So Chidwick is thinking. Wow. He's trying to break down the hand because he knows Trickett is capable of making really big plays. The thing is, would Ch Trickett make this play of, say, a queen high flush, a king high flush? Would he make this of an ace high flush? Would he only do this of a boat because the board is paired? It's quite scary. When I saw the ace and the ace, I thought Trickett would win. Kenny would win. This ace would end. However, Trickett thought for a while and he actually won. Really won. 这个 all in 之后 ，Kenny 迅速弃牌。他确实自己是诈唬的人，对方既然已经 all in 了，他就没有什么可想的了。那么瘦光头进入了一个艰难的决定。首先，我们来看 Tricky 在这里 all in 代表了什么牌？基本所有的同花在这里都是 all in 不出来的。他即使真的有梅花 ace 的同花，在这里也只能是一个跟注，因为 Kenny 完全是可以有 full house 的，所以这个梅花 a 并不是阻挡牌。那么 Tricky 在这里 all in 出来，在他自己的眼里，对手有什么牌可能跟得下自己呢？都得是比较大的 full house 了。那么两个对手中，谁有可能是大的 full house 呢？我们刚才分析过了瘦光头的牌里，基本上如果他是大的 full house， 都会在 raise 的，所以他不像是有中等以上的 full house。那么 Kenny 有可能吗？是有的。但是 Kenny 有可能拿大的 full house 直接 raise 两倍的底池吗？也有可能。我们刚才说了 ，Kenny raise 出来的范围其实是比较广的，最小的牌里当然是炸户，我们就不算了。在价值的 raise 里面，有小概率是 s 7大到同花顺。整个范围全部都有可能，在这个全部可能 raise 出来的范围里，只有大的 full house 可以跟得下 tricky 现在的 all in。这时候 tricky 的这个方便 check 倒是起到了阻挡牌的作用，阻挡了很多大的 full house。那么对手如果能跟下他，也需要是一个比较大的 full house。他现在手里已经有一个 jack 了，另外两个人有大的 full house 的机会就小了很多。当 Kenny 秒弃牌的时候 ，tricky 的认为这手牌已经成功 80% 了，因为瘦光头的牌率是有上限的，很难跟得下自己。那回到瘦光头的角度。现在要想的是 ，Tricky 有可能是在炸火吗？也许有吧。但是如果是炸火的话，真的是太疯狂了。如果是价值下注，自己能打过 Tricky 的哪些价值牌呢？一个都没有。而 Tricky 的有哪些大的 Full House 的手牌组合呢？比如说口袋 Jack 只有一个组合，而 Jack 在翻牌前在小门位置会不三 bet 吗？转牌上会不打吗？那 Jack 七同花两手组合，转牌会不打吗？同花顺梅花五六，倒是有可能会这么打。但是这概率也太小了吧？四挑七吗？三挑七在转牌上会不打吗？也有可能。其实 Tricky 这条线打出来啊，考虑到翻牌和转牌他都过牌了，确实不太像是有大的 Full House。但是问题是，瘦光头即使觉得他不像，他也跟不下。而且瘦光头他自己是最不该说 Tricky 不像是有大的 Full House 的人，因为他自己拿同花都隐藏成这样了，连续过了两条街。那么他可以这么打，为什么别人就不能慢打呢？这手牌完美的诠释了高手之间平衡牌力、心理博弈和借助阻挡牌来做决定的顶级对抗。
。你可能会说，瘦光头如果不一直过牌，就不会被炸火了。其实也真不一定。首先，平衡牌力本来就是顶级高手必须具备的能力。可能有人会说啊，你想平衡排力，你在干燥一点的牌面上平衡啊，别选那么湿的面来平衡。这就是对平衡排力理解出了问题。比如说翻牌上是 king 八二彩红面，这时候你口袋八中了三条八，然后你选择过牌。这种慢打每个人都做过，以至于根本没有隐藏性和欺骗性。如果是一个非常干的面上，可能大部分人反而都会慢打，因为慢打的隐藏性和欺骗性，就是在这种潮湿的面上慢打才能体现它的隐蔽性，对手才不会把你放在这些牌上。具体在潮湿面上慢打的案例，我们参见 Matt 之前这手慢打的牌。回过头来退一万步说，即使瘦光头打了翻牌 ，Tricky 也会跟。那么瘦光头再打转牌 ，Tricky 还是一样会跟。所以结局是什么样，还真的很难预料。就像我们也不知道，如果 Kenny 或者瘦光头在这里，如果真的有人有 Full House 的话，他们会不会跟下来 Tricky 的熬赢？这也许就是 Poker 的魅力所在吧。Chadwick knows his hand looks very underwrapped because he checked back the flop, he checked back the turn. Most certainly, if Chidwick had a set, he would have bet already. And he does lay it down. Wow,、oh、my Samuel Trickett. If you like this kind of world-class blackjack, you can follow my channel.